what is what is what what, what is peace doing? I can only imagine that dudes are laughing at us every time we talk about being peaceful. I, that's all. Like yo yo, so we shot this dude for no reason, and then they were like yo, let's be friends. <laughs> Love. We live. Welcome back to the Opinion Factory Podcast, the podcast for free thinkers and challenge seekers. Yes, sir. I'm Khalil. I'm Alex. And this week we're going to be talking about the riots that's been going on mm -hmm. um, all across the country. And for those who don't know what's going on, um, right now the country is burning. If you haven't noticed, and it's for a very specific reason, regardless of what people want you to think. It's for a very, very specific reason. And this is because of a lot of things, but the tipping point was the death, the murder of George Floyd. This man was arrested, handcuffed, and was prone on the ground, right? Like face down on the ground, completely subdued, completely compliant. And this officer decided that since he could, he would put his knee on this subdued man's neck and proceed to crush his knee into his neck for eight plus minutes, right? And this was after they beat the shit out of him in the cop car while he was handcuffed. He died while screaming that he can't breathe, while asking for help, while saying that he was dying. And nobody did a thing, not one cop. Not one cop did a damn thing, right? And so people got sick of it. This is after George Floyd, this is after Breonna Taylor, this is after Ahmaud Arbery, this is after Amy Cooper, this is after all of it, after the coronavirus, and people are just fed up of like how the situation is right now, and shit hit the fan, right, so to speak, like just to understate it. And if you haven't yet, we want to show you some clips of the protests that have been going on, right? So please watch. <laughs> Seriously swinging their batons at some of these people on the street earlier today. She believes that she has a broken rib. She told us, according to her, that three people were taken into custody, all three of them her friends. So uh, let me give you. Now, if you look at that, you see something very, very common. You see a common thread between all those clips, right? An officer is doing something that is illegal and no other officer is saying anything about it, right? And so if you split about this, like a lot of the country seems to be, I don't feel like this is the episode for you, to be honest with you. No, I'm not gonna say that though. I mean, you gotta yeah, look I mean, at, I mean, it's, it's some, I hear what you're saying, but it's some that people, need to wake up man it's, it's just it's just built up frustration who, who, when you say people to wake up who, who's waking up who needs to wake up right now it's who all the people on the sideline so it's all the people that have Fuck been indifferent that. no 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 Fuck no, no. It's, nah, those, nah, nah, it's those nah, nah, it's those bro. people nope. it's those people on the sideline that have been indifferent this whole time i need to wake up because if they I, don't they're they're going to be the one that suffer the consequences Right? I literally do not care about anyone who can see these clips, see what's going on, and see like, yeah, I don't care. Fuck them. We don't need them. They're useless yeah. right now. By the time you make their hard heart soft, we'll all be dead, bro. Damn, I'm not talking about convincing these people your life matters or whatever. I'm not in the business of convincing racists, bro. There's people that are actively opposing us, and there's people that are act that are just chilling on the sideline because they don't want to get involved. There's a difference, bro. There's a difference. The people I don't, I don't want like, I don't want those people either. How if do you're move? indifferent, if you, I, I don't, I don't even know. If you're indifferent at this point, I don't. But care what about is the step to move forward, right? If the people that are on the sideline have not said anything over the years, they have not been protesting, bro. There's been Eric Garner, there's been Mike Brown, there's been Philando Castile, there's been over and over and over again, right? If these people that have been on the sidelines not saying anything because they might fear the repercussions of what saying something might bring to them, if they continue to remain on the sidelines, nothing's going to change. 
Right. It's at one, least... No, no, no. Because being on the sidelines isn't something that just happens, bro. They're choosing to be on the I know, I know it's not something that just happens, but it's not like they don't feel one way or another, right? Like you said, they're afraid. They're choosing to not do anything. And if you can see this and you're not compelled to do it, I don't want to be the reason that like, I want to come and say, Hey, come help me out. Come, I'm dying. Come help me. Why don't you? You have the power to do something. So why don't you? Nah, 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 nah. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. I don't want to do all that. So what's the what's the alternative? We we keep doing what we're doing right now. Is that sustainable, bro? You see, here's the, here's know. the thing. Here's the, until something. until until you have enough people that are active, then nothing's gonna change, right? So you need so why, to why you, need, you need to have the people who are who are. So when you say on the sidelines, do you mean people in the black community? Is that I'm talking, no, people, no? I'm talking about I'm talking about everybody. All, all, I'm talking about, I'm talking right? about everybody. I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about everybody. You see the problem. The problem, you see, bro. The Especially the, black people on the sidelines, bro. The way we can drown this out is in numbers, bro. Right? Until enough people get fed up, then that's when it's gonna start to change, bro. Right? So you're gonna like convince we, somebody to get fed up? No. It's it's convince you like, yo, if you if you continue selling sidelines, then you're gonna face the repercussions of everything that's happening. Your businesses, whatever. There's a ton of rise, there's protests going on. There's a lot of peaceful protests going on. And I don't wanna have this narrative that there's no peaceful protests going on, because there's a, a ton of peaceful protests still going on. But there, there will are. be riots. And then what happens when there's riots? There's no game plan to a riot, bro. Riots no, are because just, the riot riots, is lashing out. Yeah, riots are the strategic thing where we attack one store and we just leave all the other stores. No, even black people get hurt on the sideline. Because if they have a black-owned business and people are rioting in that community, they're going to get hurt too. And the same thing's okay. going to happen. The same thing's going to happen. It, it's a terrible thing. And the same thing's going to happen in all those other communities You know what's too. also a terrible thing? Having your man's murdered by a cop in, course, in broad daylight, of bro. Of course it is, bro. So and I don't give a damn people, about these businesses. Look, look, if that's the cost, if look, that's the reaction no, that this is going to cause. Not just the, it's not just the businesses, though. Look at what you just said about, look at what you described about what happened, right? There's cops murdering people in broad daylight, right? And then what did you have? Who did you have on the sideline? Another cop just minding his own business. Another right. cop just minding his own business, bro. He's just these, as bad, bro. Exactly. So if these people don't step up, if these people aren't the ones that step up, then they're going to face the repercussions. That dude's about to go to jail. That dude's, if, if the officer with the, the That's officer. very hopeful of you, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm the very officers who didn't stop him are, not, are probably not going to go to jail. Well, the dude should go to jail, right? And he's going to face repercussions. He's already been fired. He's already been fired. Ooh. Right? Oh, no. It's not like he can get a job in another Listen, police department. I, un I understand your cynicism, bro. But these guys are all under the line right now. They're all they're all clo real close to the fire. So when these people continue to face reap, they're gonna face the repercussions from sitting on the sideline, whether it's the officer or whether it's the people that are not stepping up and saying anything. What That's are those what I'm repercussions you. that you speak of? Whether it's getting fired, whether it's getting business getting burned down, whether it's constant rioting, whether no, but it's how fears are the police of police officers gonna feel those repercussions. Like how those officers who didn't do anything while George Floyd was being was being asphyxiated, what yeah. How are they going to suffer for their actions or their inactions in no way whatsoever? The officers, the officers is easy. They have to be held accountable. So Who's there's, hold there's accountable. The other officers. That's why I'm saying. Don't rely on them. Why are you looking? To, why, bro. So hold if on, you, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. if you go to the doctor uh -huh. and I don't know, you have, What's a life threatening? You have gingivitis. I don't know what the symptoms of gingivitis is, right? You have some painful disease and you're showing symptoms and you're in a lot of pain. The doctors, the doctor sees the symptoms. He knows what the disease is. And instead of addressing the disease, he criticizes the symptoms. Now you're in pain and he's not doing anything. So you're lashing out, you're flipping tables, you're rocking the gurney. Hey, 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 don't rock the gurney. This is self-destructive. What are you doing? You think you're going to listen? Now you think you're going to actually convince this doctor that, yo, my life matters. You should really help me out. Like, you don't try to convince these people. It's no, 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 when, no, no, no. Hold when on. they're already sure that they don't care, bro. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to convince them to not hate black people. I'm not, I'm not doing that. If they don't, if they want to, if they want to do that, that's fine. That's fine. But, but then they when, they're, when they face the repercussions of, bro, this, like you said, this, the country's all, half, a, a lot of cities in the country are on fire, bro. Right. So if you're on the sideline and you're not, you're not putting, you're not putting these people's feet to the fire, right? The cops, you're not putting their feet to the fire, then you're going to face that same fire that they're facing.
it's just, it's, like it's just that's it's just that simple. It will, whether, like whether it's whether it's Target, whether it's a mom and pop store, whether it's wherever, bro. Unless right, you stand but, in solidarity with these people, then you're gonna face the repercussions. Because what you consistently see is people like Breonna Taylor, people like Philando Castile, people like George Floyd getting killed over and over and over again. Every time this happens, there's protests. But now, if you notice this protest, is there's a far greater number of people that weren't in the same ones as last time. There's a far greater number. This is happening all over the country, bro. It's, this thing has reached Europe. It's reached London. It's reached Germany, soccer games. Like, this is – the whole world is watching. So now more people are stepping up because now, now is the time where enough is enough, right? So if these people continue to stay on the sideline, they're going to face the repercussions. They're going to face their cities on fire because that's what's happening. And you can, you can criticize the symptoms, man. You can criticize the system all you want. But until the system changes, now – now we're getting to an escalating point. We're getting to a boiling point where these people, you, can't, you have to choose a side now, right? Now Absolutely. it's the time you have to choose a side. Absolutely. I feel like I, I agree with you. And I want to put this in. So the way my mind is working right now, the people on the sidelines, for example, could be Target, right? Uh-huh. Target was burned down indiscriminately. They weren't burned out because they were Target. They weren't burned out because they were on the sidelines. Right, they were burned out because they were in the neighborhood while people were lashing out. If Target had happened to be a business in solidarity with the cause, right? If Target was speaking up about this, like I don't know, I think Nike did when Colin Kaepernick was trying to peacefully protest. If Target was one of those companies and it got burned down, then I don't see how, you know, only the people on the sidelines are being hurt by this. This is hurting everybody. It Not just the people everybody. on the sidelines. So no, it is hurting everybody. And so I don't think this is the way to try to convince people who are unopinionated about this to be opinionated about this. No, no, it's not. But it's like your life's going to suffer. If everyone, your life's still going to suffer if you continue not to do anything. It's, that's the whole point. This is the whole point I'm trying to get into your head. Your life is still going to suffer if you choose to do nothing. So you can either choose to step up, whether you believe it or not, you can choose to step up to the plate and be like, all right, let's stop killing these people. Let's stop holding police. Let's stop holding police accountable. Let's stop saying blue lives matter because a blue life doesn't exist, right? No. Let's start. Let's start holding these people accountable and put more pressure on the the DAs, the AGs, the district attorneys, attorney generals, the state legislators, the Department of Justice, the police departments. Until you ho- put more pressure on these people and hold them accountable. Everyone has to do that if you want your Bro, life to be okay because it's not okay right now. So if you want, yo, if you want stuff to keep getting messed up, you can say you can debate whether the strategy is effective or not. That's cool, but your it's life's gonna suffer. Mad and that's effective, and that's your a good life, thing. Your life is gonna suffer. I, I, bro, I don't care about debating the sit like, oh man, it sucks. But so what? There's a lot of things that suck, but this is a casualty of the system, the system that's been allowed to go on for so long. Right. It's like it's a casualty. You can say it sucks, or whatever. This is what happens. Like I'm not I don't care about criticizing the response to protest, man. Like what what is this, bro? This is what we're doing now. People are rioting. Oh, how dare the rioters? Let's not focus on any of the reasons why people are rioting. Exactly. Bro. You know, this is this is the crazy thing. And we could all, this is why the Kaepernick thing was so I'm so happy it happened. Like I'm so happy the Colin Kaepernick thing happened. Oh, yeah. I used to be the I used to be the biggest NFL fan out there. Every Sunday in my room, I have like three TVs on watching all the games. Stop watching the NFL entirely. I'm so happy this Colin Kaepernick thing happened. Dude takes a knee. Oh, how dare he disrespect the flag? It's not the right way to protest. LeBron speaks up so- on social issues and shut up and dribble. March in the streets, you're blocking traffic. A- at what point are you going to actually address the problem that people are talking about and not what the, not what the protest is? Hey, so how dare you criticize now when people are fed up and now they're burning your buildings and burning your, your, the way. your homes? This isn't the way. Yeah, how dare you? The there, there, there never is a right way to protest. If protest yeah. doesn't make you, if protest doesn't make you uncomfortable, it's not effective. Exactly. It's that simple. It's that simple. So how how dare these people talk about? Oh, this isn't the way. There is no way. So you, either you're gonna deal with the problem, hurt, they, they, or you're they not. They saying that this rioting is only hurting us because now how are we gonna be perceived? I'm sorry. Are we in control of how we're perceived? Because no, we're fact. fucking not. You see, because it, we're fucking not at all. 
and this and this is the thing, man. It's, it always kills me, especially when I hear black people talk about, oh, you yeah, gotta worry about the way you carry yourselves, brother. No, especially, not at especially all. these people will never look at you the same as them. They will Everything never look at you the same. Everything comes second to being black. Yes. Once you're black, that is it. That's the verdict. The sentence is handed out on that premise alone. You can be prim and proper. I told you before, there's so many videos of dudes in the 60s, black and white, or they're yep. barely colorized in suits, ties, briefcases, very proper. Then they get blasted with fire hoses for no reason at all because they weren't carrying themselves properly. They weren't being peaceful. Fuck all that, bro. What is, what is, what, what, what is peace doing? I can only imagine that dudes are laughing at us every time we talk about being peaceful. I, that's all, like, yo, yo. So we shot this dude for no reason, and then they were like, yo, let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I can do it again. And all they're going to be, all they're going to talk about is how we have to be peaceful. And we can be as violent and as fucked up as we want, and all they care about is peace. Isn't this great? No, it, Fuck all that, man. No, 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 no. I'm not calling for peace. I'm calling for justice. I'm saying keep rioting until dudes listen. Until shit happens. And you know what the me- for peace. I'm calling you know for what the worst, you know what the worst thing about this is, fam? Is this whole thing could have been avoided. Right? It could have been avoided. You had large figures like Kaepernick uh, uh, quarterback in the NFL took his team to the Super Bowl a couple of years before he started protesting, right? Yeah, dudes like Kaepernick talking, you had dudes like LeBron talking, you had dudes like Obama talking, all you had all these Really, A list, B list, B list celebrities bringing attention to issues that you refuse to resolve. And what so, do they have in common? They were they were talking. They were. So now they when push really... comes, now when push comes to shove, and and you're upset about this, you know the NFL dropped a statement saying they stand with the protest. Like them okay. dudes got them dudes got the nerve, fam. They got the nerve. They got okay. the nerve, fam. Like they they literally dropped a statement saying they stand with the protest and everything that's going on with the country. Like they didn't just force Kaepernick out the league. Right. Like they got the nerve, fam. So if if you're looking forward, right? What do you what? You know, there's this mis there's this misconception of of we need to get like more Democrats in power. Nope. Right. I lost that my faith in Democrats after this. That, it's going to solve the issues More that we're facing, right? People. Because, you know, no, exactly, right? If we look at, if we look at it through the political lens, the, the black people usually vote Democrat, Democrats got our back, the Republicans are racist, they're evil, blah, blah, blah. Regardless if any of that's true, what's been the game plan going forward there? I'll break this down. Minneapolis, the city that George Floyd died in. Mayor, Democrat. Democrat. Uh, district attorney, Democrat. Democrat, right. One of the lead prosecutors that could have... You know the guy who... the Derek Chauvin, the guy who killed George Floyd? Yeah. He had 17... It, he had 17 reports of police brutality against him. Oh, yeah, I saw that. He was only reprimanded for one. And now, at one time, he got a letter written to him. Yeah. And that was it. I don't know yeah. if you know... I don't know if you know Amy Klobuchar. She was running for... She's a senator, I believe, from Minnesota now. She ran for president. Sounds familiar. Democrat. Refused to prosecute that guy. So there, we have this misconception that we could just vote these people out of power. I, I, don't know how, I don't know what happens. I don't know how you change this, man. Like, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Like, there has to be a way. But if I'm looking at solutions to this problem, right, it's not just voting because the voting does nothing. The, like, I'm not going to say it does nothing, but now I'm becoming more and more cynical that it does nothing. We tell people to vote in local elections all the time. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's just local people not doing shit right now. It's a systemic problem, man. The D or the R doesn't mean anything to me now. It doesn't. Because it really we're doesn't. facing the same problems. Right? So I'm talking about, we're talking about voting a lot of power. It's not working. You look at the city that happened in, liberal city and all this type of stuff. What, what's the plan forward here? Like, what's, what should be... What is the solution to stopping this? We can't riot forever, honestly. Like I'm not gonna. We can't. But well, we definitely can't listen to people talking about stop rioting, because rioting isn't helping us. Maybe not rioting isn't gonna help us. So what the fuck do we do? Excuse my language this episode. I'm I'm trying to stay calm. I don't really swear this much. Man, I'm man. sure you guys know that. Just I've excuse, excuse I've my language. I'm staying calm, man. I just want to know what what is the game plan going forward. It ain't like, what us. should be. It ain't on us. Anything that happens moving forward, it can't be on. We can't. I'm not do saying. Shit about. 
I'm not saying we not. have to face the responsibilities of what happened. I'm saying, right. like, where do we go for this change? Like, I, I, I'm i saying we have to get the people on the sideline to keep applying pressure to the people who are in power. Because these people on the sideline are the ones that have the power. So if we don't get them to move, and I'm not getting them to move off a moral basis. I don't care about getting them to move. They're not going to move off a moral basis. Like, I completely agree with you. They're not going to move off, like, seeing one video and then be like, oh, man, this time it's different. You know, because mm-hmm. you can mm-hmm. say the same. Look at what happened with Eric Garner. Eric Garner got choked out, right? Three years, two years ago, three years ago in New York, Eric Garner got choked out from a rear naked choke. Do saying he can't breathe, right? What happened then? Or so the same things happening over and over again. So until you get these people, they're not gonna. They're not just gonna wake up one day and be like, "Oh man, I'm not racist today." Oh man, <laughs> black people. Black people are cool today, you know. Or so black people saying that. Black people grudgingly should, make change. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So until you make them uncomfortable enough to make changes, that's it won't change. You know, there's a, there's a thing I was telling my cousin. I remember telling my cousin a couple years ago. I was talking about it's time to pull up on people, man. It's really time to start pulling up on people. Like people that people just feel too comfortable getting away with a lot of the bullshit they're getting away with. I'm not saying you shoot them, none, none of that stuff. But I'm saying you have to go. You, the, there comes a time where it needs to be some face to face confrontation. Getting away with silence is what you mean. Like people yeah. who just don't do nothing. Yeah, exactly. So until until that face to face confrontation is constant, then these people are gonna keep chilling. They, what's the what's the repercussion you face if black people are dying? What what, what light what like what changes does it make on your life? It's not gonna happen to you. So what changes does it make on your life? I'm not gonna, You're gonna get your business burned down. Now that's the change that happens. <laughs> but now is that gonna make them want to support us? I don't care about the support. Well, that's what I we can, want, I can, right? Nah, I care about you stepping up and making a change right. after what you can see was wrong. There, there's enough people that know what's wrong, right? That's the thing, bro. Everybody, that's every single person knows. That's why I said, like, if you don't know who's right or wrong here, then this is not the episode for you. I feel like every single person in this country knows who was wrong here. And the only people arguing against the protesters are only arguing against them because we're black. That's my belief. Like, look at look at the Amy Cooper situation saying an African-American man is threatening my life and my dog's life. After she walked towards him, tried to take his phone out of his hand, she said, you know what? I'm going to call the cops and say you're threatening my life. And I'm going to mention that you're African-American. Your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Because I know there's power in that. And Trevor Noah said it very well. No matter what happens, by the time we figure out who's right and who's wrong, you're going to have lost in some way, shape, or form. And I know that. So every single person knows who's right and who's wrong here. So all the people saying that this ain't right, are they're actively saying, please die quietly. You're in your death throes. Stop inconveniencing me with your death throes. I don't want to hear you screaming for your life. It's making me like, take that somewhere else. Please just die quietly. That's what I'm saying. Fuck them, bro. If you're still, if you're still on the sidelines about this and you don't care that a whole group of people are being systematically wiped out and oppressed and, you know, put back in slavery through, through the prison system and shit like that, I, I don't care. I don't, want, I, don't want to do, I don't want anything to do with you, bro. That's why I'm saying that. Because all you're telling me is that you would rather I just die quietly. No, I, and I am with that. I, I don't want to deal with people like that. I hear what you're saying, bro. But we're not winning that morality argument. <laughs> like we're not winning that morality argument. How much time is going on? Or just not winning the morality argument? The, you see, and maybe maybe we, I should differentiate between the two people on the sideline because there's more than one type of person on the sideline, right? It's right. not just the people that are just indifferent, <clears throat> right? There's other people that fear the repercussions of what stepping up may be. You know, because look at the, look at us, right? A couple of weeks ago, we talked about like what would happen if there was a black punisher, and how both mm-hmm. of us would kind of want that, mm-hmm. right? Like right. all these guys that keep doing this type of stuff, like, we kind of want them taken out, especially after they get away with it, right? But would you be willing to step up for it right now? Like you individual, would you be willing to take that risk? You know, with everything that comes, black punisher, yeah, with everything that comes with it. But that's an individual response. It is an individual response. But for each person, the individual response could be, now I'm shattering my social circle. Now I'm shattering my work opportunities. Now I'm shat- like, I'm just putting myself for a cause that may not benefit me. 
or it might benefit me, it might benefit the country, but I'm too scared to make that jump. But look how many people have went out and protested and got fucked up. Look how many, look how many of them. I saw today, God, God's eye socket eruption, man. Yeah, he, uh, he lost his eye. He lost his eye. Like, like how many people are willing to take that jump? And he's one of those people that's probably on the moral, on the side that came with us on morality. He's right, probably he one of those guy, people. Right? Yeah, he was. He looks white. So he's probably one of those people that came up with the side of morality. But now look at the repercussions that they face now. So I think there's two factions of people, that are, or maybe even more than two factions of people on the sideline. All right, I'll, on be the side I'll be nicer to those people. I'll be nice. Doing the right thing is not easy. No, it's not easy, especially when That's you know there's going to be repercussions. But it's still the right face. thing to do. It is the right thing to do. The right thing is not the easy thing to do. And that's the problem. And there's, there's people that are actively going against us that always have an excuse for any time someone steps up. Those are the people where I want nothing to do with them. I don't care about educating them. I don't, I don't care. And I'm not going to convince you. The people who are talking about rioting is not the way? Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to convince you. Like, fuck you. What, what, what's the point of me even talking to you? Right. Every time I talk to you, you bring up a different point. You bring up black on black crime. You bring up inner city violence. You bring you bring up some nonsense every time. So it's like, yo, oh man, yo, yo, Khalil, the police just killed your mom. But you know that black on black crime though. It's, it's like, like what? Like, like what? Like, what does that have to do? Oh, hey, somebody Jamal down the street killed killed somebody. That means the police can kill me too. Like, what? What is the, what is the logic around this? You know, so there's always deflections. I don't care about talking about people actively against us. People coming out. There's a guy with a crossbow. Oh yeah, I saw that. Coming out. It was yeah. It was and a saying arrow. screaming, "All lives matter." Like I, I don't. Everything is all this deflection. What is blue lives matter? What is all lives matter? It's all deflection. The people that know, you can break it down to them. You can break it down to them. If I say I'm fighting for no, breast they, cancer, you don't need to. No, that's what, that's what I'm saying. They know. Yeah, they, know. they know. You can say I'm fighting for breast cancer. They can say, oh, what about all the other types of cancer? They don't matter. Exactly. Imagine oh, going to, to the walk for breast cancer saying, what about pancreatic cancer? Hmm? <laughs> no. Why is walk for breast cancer? For real, son. So you have these issues, and the people already know. They just don't care. They don't care. They want things to remain the same. Maybe they profit off it, or probably they're just racist. They don't give a fuck about you. And that's what we have to realize. So I don't care what the people... people but I should be discounting. I shouldn't be discounting the people who want to do something but are afraid of the consequences of doing it. Because it's, it's very, very fair to say you don't want to lose your eye. Yeah, it's very hard to quantify the number of people that don't want to do this. And right now, we're still in the... The country just reopened with the whole pandemic we just had. Right? I saw a really good tweet that says black people are being, black people are being forced to step up about being disproportionately killed by cops while they're being disproportionately being killed by, by a pandemic. Coronavirus. With no, right. Because of the lack of access to healthcare. Right? And this is the problem that we face. So if we're talking about priorities moving forward, what do you think black people should be doing in this time? Like, there has to be a strategy after all this dies down. I think the priority should be on not letting up. We can't... <sighs> And you know, you know what the biggest problem with this is? I, I completely agree with you about not letting up. But everyone has their own individual life to live, fam. Like, everyone has their well, own... Well, until you run into a cop. Yeah, but every... <laughs> yeah, like, like, everyone has their own problems. Like, you got to pay your bills. You got to take care of the house. You got to go to work. You got to stay healthy. You know? Like, where is your time in the day to keep fighting for these causes? Especially if you're poor. Especially if you're poor, you're working two jobs and you have kids. Where's your time in the day? Are you allowed to have a life? Like, like you know what I'm saying? There's so many obstacles in the way of keep applying pressure. That like this is the biggest issue. Well, I, I like where how what do, you do we think the priority should be? I don't know. Right you, you think it should be on getting people on the sidelines to step up? To I get think, them to do it I think, safely I think and we have to. I think we have to make them uncomfortable enough where they have to step up. Whether it's, I think the morale, the morale, morality argument is is done. Like, I, there, there's not many more videos you can see where it's like, yo, come on, like police, police kill people in this country at an like, astronomical rate. We've been through this. We broke down the statistics already. Like, compared to other countries, we kill people here. What police just need a whole retraining. Thing. I don't know how you get that initiative passed. Maybe go through retraining the police. 
Maybe there has to be psychiatric evals every every six months for police. There has to be more thorough checks on, on their background and social medias. But that's probably the things that at the very least we can do. Like at the very least, that it's could be start. something small. That we yeah, can it's do. a small start. A small, I mean, like a retraining and a revisiting of how we handle police. And and you know you know what the you know what my biggest issue is I I even talked like when people say this blue lives matter or whatever stuff matters, or when people say there's only a few bad apples, what they're doing is they're just constantly enabling police to do what they're doing. Right? If I never hold you accountable, why am I gonna change? Right. Like all the time after a video, oh, it's only a few bad apples. Like those people too. Fuck those people too, man. I don't care about those people either. Oh, those, I love they're cops. Just as bad to me. I, I love I love cops. Oh, the, the cops are great. They're, they're, oh, those are just a few bad apples. Finn, you have a you have a police officer, Asian police officer standing right in front of the whole situation. Right. Does nothing. That's a Literally good cop watches team. a man get crushed to death, but he's one of the good ones because he didn't crush him himself. Like, I don't, I don't understand this logic. Time after time after time, bro, we're being and told all that, so. of these videos of the police coming out, looking at these peaceful protesters, shooting people point by a range in the head with rubber bullets, shooting tear gas canisters at people's heads, opening car doors while you're driving by, to trampling dudes with horses, yeah. trampling civilians. Like this woman wasn't even looking at the horse from the back, just trampled over her. Yes. And we still got people saying, "I support the police department. They're just trying to do their jobs." Fuck you and fuck all them cops. That's from the that's, bottom of my heart, bro. That's what I'm saying. So moving forward as black people, I think we have to get enough pressure to drastically overhaul the system. I don't know how they do that though. Because it doesn't matter who you vote in power, they don't care. The de- look, this is a bro, this is a democratic office. You have from mm. the from the mm. AG to the prosecutor, or from district attorney, sorry, at least from district attorney to the prosecutor to the mayor. All democratic, so I don't, I don't want to hear this. Oh, just getting Democrats is the issue, right? Like no, the Democrat, like the right. Democrats have some crazy superior moral high ground over everybody else. They really don't. They, don't. they really don't. They're probably worse, to be honest with you. To watch all that shit happen and still not do nothing about it, probably worse, to be honest with you. And I don't want it to be like. At the same time, I don't want it to be like, you know, they do this, we lash out, we calm down until they do it again. Then we lash out again, and then we calm down. And then they do it again. I mean, because then nothing happens. And we can't, you say we need to drastically overhaul the system. We can't do that. No, we can't do that ourselves. But there has to be, like, at least right now, we're applying pressure. So while we're applying pressure, there has to be change right now. Like, we're applying pressure really well right now. So there has to be change while this pressure is being applied. We're applying pressure for, I don't know, a week across the entire country. One dude got charged with third degree murder. Yeah, and that's the problem too. That's why I say not, this, not this whole degree. this third whole degree. thing at the very least it should have been second degree. At the very least. Like the first degree so, thing for, you for need people who don't know, yeah, what, what's first degree murder? First, first degree, degree murder is intentional premeditated. premeditated. Yeah. Second degree is what? I can look it up. Second degree is I believe the intent to kill. Okay. Or, and third degree is accidental. Third, yeah, third degree is third degree manslaughter is what you got charged. You got charged with third degree murder and third degree manslaughter. Right. So third degree could be like we're in a fight and I push you, then your head bangs off like the concrete. And you have and then I die. And then you die. You didn't mean to kill me. No. But you killed me. Exactly. That's third degree. And yeah. so now they're saying this man accidentally crushed someone's neck for eight minutes because we all do that from time to time. Man, I, I crushed a couple of necks <laughs> in my day. <laughs> like it's comical, bro. And and the whole the whole racism aspect to me, it's like, it's like, what's even the point of this joint, bro? Like, you just have to think about it. It's just really sick. Like, all this effort to keep a group of people down, like, what, what benefit do you get off that? Then you get the, you dive into it, you get the private prison benefit, you get the, the virtual slave labor benefit, and it's just like, it's just sickening that this is still going on in 2020. It's 2020, bro. I feel like it was a whole different episode. That that the, the benefits of racism, that sounds like a good topic that we can talk about all by itself, bro. It's just all by itself. It's just stupid, man. The the whole thing is just stupid. Yeah, second degree murder is intentional murder that lacks premeditation. That's like <laughs> like I said, like you you meant to kill the person, just wasn't premeditated. And I don't know how you can mean to not kill somebody by sitting on their neck. With your After body they say they can't breathe, but then you still don't move. Uh, it's, 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 it's whatever. 
And so we're going to call for these people in power to change their ways by force. We're going to force them to change their ways because, because we can do that. On a positive note, I am happy to see more people have stepped up to the plate. You know, there's been more white people stepping up. There's been more Spanish people stepping up. Like, you see these protests all over all over the country. You see the pictures. It, it It's really nice to see that, yeah. you know. People using their privilege to to help out in ways yeah. that we can't do ourselves. Yeah. It's like that John Oliver episode where he was talking about if you're black and you need to go to the doctor, the best thing you can do is get a white man to explain what your symptoms are. That way you get taken seriously and that way shit actually happens for you. And and it's crazy. It's crazy. It still has to be like that, but you know, I, I still feel a little conflicted because it took him so long. You know, like why was it this one and not the other ones? You know, because okay. like if I look at this, what's it between this? What's it between George Floyd and Philando Castillo? You know, like what, did Philando Ca- George Floyd's murder take longer? That's why it was worse. You know, what about Eric Garner? Like he said, he couldn't breathe either. So, you right. know, it's like, what, what took you so long? You know, what, what point, like, was this the, fi- the last straw? Well, the thing is, a lot of times officers like to say, you know, I fear for my life. Shit happened so fast. And, you know, you know, we thought, you know, Philando had a gun. We thought he was reaching, even though he said he had a gun and he was going to show him. We thought Eric Garner was, you know, violent. You know, he was a huge man. We, you know, we did what we had to do. But when it comes to George Floyd, it's been his handcuffed calm, subdued. There's three people on his back and you decide to put your hand in your pocket and casually put your knee on his neck for eight minutes. Yeah, and I don't know. Like, it, that it that does... seems like a, that seems like next level to me, bro. That's a special right, kind so, of demon. That's so, a special kind of demon to me, bro. So, so maybe it was. Maybe it was. But that this time, it's just... I just wish you didn't take that. I wish you I wish didn't take that. I wish like when you saw Flannel got steel get shot in front of his his girl and his kid, you yeah. know, like, like his baby daughter. Yeah, I think she's like, like from, four years from, old. From two feet away. Yeah. Well, you saw Eric Garner get choked up. Like, fam, if you fear for your, if you fear for your life just off that, why are you a police officer? <laughs> like, why? Like, what kind of, like, what is the, what is the qualification for you fearing for your life? You saw a black guy? Oh, oh my because God. They don't, they don't really fear like, for their on. lives. They don't. And they know what they're getting away with. But like I said, I want to know a positive note. I'm just really happy with all these people that have stepped up to the plate. And for those who want to, but you're afraid of doing it, I implore you to make the difficult choice. Make the right choice. We, history will remember you. We will remember you for sure. And you're just going to make the world a better place. You have the power to do it. So do it. We can't do it ourselves. I hate to say it, but we can't. I hate to, I hate to say it, but a patient is not responsible for diagnosing and treating himself. He can't do it. It's up to the it's up to the doctors, meaning the mayors, the governors, and it's up to the hospitals, the states, the country. It's up to them. We can't do it. All we can do is lash out in pain when the pain hits. And don't tell us not to lash out when you're choosing not to out. That's gonna put you on the wrong side with us. We can end it there. Yeah, we can end it right there, man. Guys think, man. Comment down below. I mean if you fed up, don't comment. I, I completely understand. This is exhausting. Just, you know, leave a power emoji, something, you know. Just... <laughs> Life in America, man. Penny Fatty Podcast. We're on Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube. Wherever you listen to podcasts, like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. I deeply encourage you to share this with one of your friends, especially if one of your friends is on the fence. And we will see y'all next week. Peace.